everybody this is general disaster better known as Rex Buchanan uh, I've been working on these lithium-ion batteries that I pulled out of the laptop I already showed a video on how I made this and for the last day or so I have been working on this light experiment to see how long I can keep this light going hooked up with this lithium ion battery all the way fully charged here's the one that I ran my first test on and that kept it going for 37 hours and it wasn't fully charged and here's just a little bit of my workstation got a little bits of stuff. Here's a knife that I pulled apart. I'm gonna, this is my utility knife. I'm going to put a little handle on that. This is going to turn into a table clamp. And this little sucker, the thumb lock, that's going to be turned into a saw. Slash utility blade of some kind. So yeah, that'll work out pretty good. And uh, this is what I was talking about that I charged my lithium ion battery with a uh, uh, e cigarette charger. So that worked out pretty good. A little slow. And uh, what, the, what, what did I bring you guys here for? Oh, yeah. I found out something I was going to do with these two extra batteries. So they're just running the light. I have a broken drill. And the culprit was these NICAD batteries. Total of 6 volts, 1200 ma. And the charger's good because I tested that out. And it's still getting power. It just wasn't juicing up these batteries anymore. So I reckon. Yes, I said reckon. These batteries weren't good anymore. Even though they're still holding a charge, I can't get them to charge up good enough to run my drill. So I had this wild thought. If this is a six bolt drill, these batteries can be charged up to 7.4 then I should be able to put them in here and fix my drill. So my first thing was I had to see if this charger worked with lithium batteries. And DC is DC. It just doesn't, it's uncontrolled basically except for this charging uh, board that's in here that takes care of all the power maintenance going from here to there and this and that. And I knew this battery right here was good and chargeable, which it's at 7.54 now. It's charging really slow. This is the first time that I've had this battery pack had a chance to get it charged up because I don't have my lip line my my charger yet. So um, yeah, this is where we're at. I took it apart. Had a look at it, everything looked like it was doable. This is the front piece, it's going to go on here. Um, and this is the back piece of the handle. Now, what this is, and this on the other side, that is two little pieces of plastic bracing that I had to break off in order to get the light bus to fit. And if you can see that mark right there, I can see it pretty good. That's where the first light bus is going to sit. Just like that, only it's going to be more insulated. And that's going to run in series with another battery that's sitting right behind it, hopefully. Right in there, and then put the case back on it. And uh, I guess I could really quick 
even though it's got the charger plugged in, show you that this is working. And part of that rear noise is I need to get in and clean out that switch because the reverse doesn't do it. And let me tell you, whenever that thing kicks on, you can see it jump. So it's going to be working and working good. And I'll make an update video of it um, after I get everything put together. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, it's a general disaster. And I'll yak at you later.